When we think about stretching, we're often just thinking about getting into the stretch. And if we're in the stretch, then we're stretching. Well, if you have body tightness that doesn't go away, or you're not making progress in your stretching, then you're probably making this stretching mistake. This idea goes far beyond stretching, and it's actually a way of working with your body that will allow you to solve many problems. And if you have pain and discomfort in your body, then this should help you greatly. So here's the secret I've talked so highly about. It's not just getting into the stretch. As you get into the stretch and during the stretch, you need to be seeking alignment. When I say alignment, it's actually quite simple. What I mean is, are your hips even? Are your shoulders even? Are your ribs even? What about your knees? Or are they shifting out of place? Are they rotating? Is one side rising? Or are you shifting your whole body around this structure? Alignment is simply when we have a balanced structure. When our body is aligned, our body feels and performs best. Imagine a perfectly structurally sound building. We're getting pretty good at building these these days. Even a massive earthquake doesn't shake this thing down. Now imagine that same building in the same place, but built on an uneven base, and all of the walls are slightly angled. That building might fall if you nudge it wrong. Well, that's similar to what's happening inside of our bodies. And the cool thing about our bodies is that they can change and adapt with the right stimulus. So let's look at the human body. Notice how all of these structures are even. And then notice how it's quite obvious to the eye when something is uneven or out of whack. This is going on for almost everybody in a major way or even the smallest of ways. But as always, it's quite harder to notice in ourselves, in our own bodies. But the more familiar that we become with this idea and this concept, the more we'll start to become aware and see it in ourselves. So with stretching, it's not about just stretching. It's about stretching and always seeking alignment as you do so. When you do this, you might notice that things get more intense or that you can't go as far as you could doing it the way you were doing it before. But that's the point. You see, you've been working around this the whole time. That's why you're compensating and moving your body but if you don't allow your body to compensate, then you're hitting the root of the problem. So instead of going around this blockage, we need to go straight through it and we need to work with it and slowly over time, clear that blockage up. So I'm gonna give some quick examples of what I'm talking about in practice so that you can start your journey with this concept. If we go into a hamstring stretch, are our hips even? Or is one side rising? Or is one side shifting forward and the other shifting back? What is our spine doing? Is it flexing? Is it extending? Is it rotating? Notice what's happening and always shoot for even. If we go into a side lunge or a Cossack squat, are our hips even? Or are the hips shifting in order to accommodate the position? Always shoot for even. There are a few ways to work on this awareness. You can physically feel the structures of your body with your fingers, placing them on your hips, for example, and feeling the bones, and feeling for any unevenness as you go through the movement. Another one I really like is to use a mirror. Do your movements in front of a mirror, and it should be pretty clear if there's shifting or changing happening. And lastly, probably the one that takes the most time to develop is the internal feeling and sensation. Can you close your eyes down, or can you simply just feel what's happening in your body? Can you feel anything shifting and moving that shouldn't be. In every single stretch, the deeper you go, you will feel your body shifting out of alignment. Try to pull it back in and you will find the blockage, the thing in the way of your alignment. So this is why stretching can be very useful. But if you're not doing this while you stretch, then the stretching might not be as meaningful. I'm not gonna say it's pointless because I think most stretching is pretty useful, but you're definitely not getting out of it what you think you are. And another small piece about alignment is that oftentimes this word is associated with something like chiropractic, where we're having someone else push us back into alignment. And where this can be useful, 
this isn't really what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is making real, long-lasting change using your own power. And really, what I found is that that's the only way to make real change. And the last piece I'll leave you with is don't just do this when you stretch. Do this all the time. It'll make you feel better. So I'm curious, have you ever tried to use this technique before? If you have or you're just trying it now, leave a comment below. Let me know how it works for you. And I haven't said this for quite a long time, so I'll say it now. If you're watching these videos, subscribe to the channel. It'll help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.